you can find out more in the LSJ shredding plan, which we'll be releasing this week. Rumour has it, it tastes like mango. Uh. Oh. Uh. Holy uh. shit. Holy uh. Wow. Uh. Taste that. Uh. <laughs> That's that sort of thumbnail. Ooh, what's up guys, Liam here, how smooth was that? And welcome back to LSJ TV today. We're mainly gonna be talking vitamins, but I'm gonna touch on something just to start off before we actually get into that. Purely because even though I released a video about this very specific topic, dedicated video about three weeks ago, I've been asked three times, yes, that's a lot for a person who has an account of my size, I've been asked three times, how do you make your oats so creamy? Because I do my competition on Instagram on a daily basis, right? Did I just say competition? I did, didn't I? I do like a, I do, I do like a, a, a random guess. You don't win anything other than pride. Pretty much just to guess the flavor of the oats every single day. Uh, today we're gonna to be going for the goat, which is the salted caramel. We have a brand new tub going down from the team at My Protein. LSJ at checkout for all of your protein needs and vitamins for that matter. This video is about vitamins. First off, boil your kettle while you weigh out 60 grams of oats. What we are gonna do now is wait for the kettle to boil, add in the boiling water straight away up to 400 grams. Now 60 up to 400 is 340 grams or 340 milliliters of water, boiling water. As you can see, 60 grams, we are gonna to top that up. I don't actually even know if I have enough water. Yeah, we've got just about enough. Just a little bit more because you can always add, but you can never take away. For, oh, bollocks. But you guys can see that that is pretty much, it's just watery at the minute, right? So give the oats a minute to kind of soak up all of that boiling water, smoothing out any lumps that you may have. You might get some clumps like this. Just smoothen those out and separate all the oats and just allow it to soak it up before you put it in the microwave. One of you guys actually recommended to me last night a very specific cranberry, as in the one that is over there, uh, cranberry clear way, um, porridge kind of oats recipe. Uh, so I will be trying that in a video coming soon. But for today, I've not had salted caramel for like, a week, which is a long time for me because I have oats every day. I've been out of my salted caramel for a good 10 days, I would say. So, we're having that today. Bang, we're gonna go for one minute, but keep an eye on it. Don't let it spill over. Eyes on the prize, ladies and gents. One minute in, and as you can see, it is thickening a little bit. Just got the kettle on again for the misses, but it is thickening again. We're gonna give that 30 seconds and another stir and then back in the microwave again. And you see how high up that was? That was about to spill over, okay? That is why you keep an eye on it. I'm thinking this is gonna take another 30 seconds and then we'll be good. Perfecto. Okay, so you guys can see that that has thickened up quite nicely now. To be fair, I would usually do it a little bit more than that, but that would do for today because I'm hungry. Adding a bit more water will take a bit more time to cook, but it will give you a lot more volume for a lot less calories. You don't have to use milk, you don't have to use anything. Well, you can do if you want to, but I use water and I just use a nice flavored protein, i.e. the whey from my protein. The salted caramel flavor is the goat. Ding LSJ at checkout, pretty much. I use as much water as I possibly can without completely diluting the oats, making it like a friggin' swampy, watery, gunky mess, you know? So if you add a couple of scoops of protein in, you are also gonna thicken it up ever so slightly as well. Two scoops of this is, again, about 60 grams, but I will weigh it out uh, for the sake of today's video. There's 33, so this should be just under, yeah, 56, 57. I like to know just how much I'm actually putting in uh, my oats, one, so that I know how long this tub is gonna last, and two, obviously I know the calories and the protein, and everything like that. So we've got two scoops, which will also equate to a whopping 50 grams of protein. So you guys know the drill here, you stir and flip. You stir 
and then you flip, stir, and flip. And you know once it's ready. You go for it! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get the perfect creamy, thick, beautiful oats for as little calories as possible whilst you are on a diet. It's pretty much, if I wanna up that, I will just change the kind of ratios around and have a little bit more water, have a little bit less oats or more oats or vice versa. Have a play around, find your perfect recipe. I would highly, highly recommend if you want your oats to turn out like this, you follow this exact same recipe. Every time, perfect. <laughs> Also, what is on this memory card is very special. I've got protein all over my fingers. It is on here. I have some sick, and I mean sick, media content coming at you very, very soon. But for the meantime, let's actually get to what the video title is about. Let's talk about vitamins. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my oats recipe. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try it out. Let me know by leaving a like as well. Let's smash as many as we can on this video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is what I am currently taking. Ready to go back to the gym. So what I do in a nutshell is literally just put about 10 days worth. I don't even measure them out, I used to, but I used to just measure, I used to count 10 pills or whatever. But I put 10 days worth, there or thereabouts, sometimes it's a bit more, it's never less than 10 days, um, in each of the kind of storage containers. I'm actually gonna get rid of all of the A to Z multivitamins on the basis that I've been taking the gummies. Uh, the A to Z multivitamin is essentially the same thing. So that can just go back in there for a little while while we take these. Sometimes I run out because these are a bit more expensive, but um, it's worth it, you know, if you ask me. It's a nice little kind of treat. Only a few left in there, and then we're gonna go into the cupboard for the restock. So, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll discard this for now. I will just keep it there because it looks pretty, you know? We'll get out 10 worth of the glucosamine. You can get glucosamine hydrochloride, but this is actually glucosamine sulfate. Uh, I was advised by a friend of mine who is very, very intelligent. Uh, this is not off my own back uh, to start taking this. When I was just moaning, I was actually working as a PT. I was moaning about my joints and moaning about my knees and my elbows and my wrists and everything like that. And pretty much he just recommended uh, glucosamine to me. I've started taking it ever since and I've never looked back. I absolutely swear by this supplement, guys. I swear by glucosamine. If you struggle with joints, that, as far as I'm aware, is glucosamine's kind of sole focus to help people that struggle with any kind of like impact on the joints, right? So let's say you jump up and down, and then you think, oh, I landed on my knees and you know my knees hurt. All I did was jump up and down. Glucosamine is the kind of thing that's gonna help you with that. Alongside, or coupled with, essential omega-3. I actually have some omega-365 in there as well. I've got, my protein have a bunch of omega-3 products. The only real difference is the amount of strength in the product. Uh, so this one, there is 90 soft gels and 90 servings, right? Whereas the one that I've got in the cupboard, one serving is three soft gels, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven days worth. I've got a week's worth there. Whereas I would need like 21 of the other ones, you know? Obviously because of that, the price does vary. Um, so just buy whatever is in your budget. Obviously, it's a little bit more inconvenient to have to take three tablets, but is it the end of the world? Absolutely not, and if it's a bit cheaper, then go for it, you know? Next up, we have zinc and magnesium. I'm pretty sure this is a new tub. 90 capsules, but 45 servings, right? So we've got 45 days worth. Ow, for all you mathematicians out there, that means that one serving is two tablets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I intentionally waited to restart this because I've been meaning to do it on camera for so, so, so long to the point where I actually didn't even take any vitamins for the past couple of days. So I'm gonna make sure to, to get them in today. We've got C plus. Last but not least, a brand new tub of D3. Again, you only need one of these per day. Well, you don't need any of these technically. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're, you're gonna be fine without them. But if you can afford to supplement with vitamins, then I would highly, highly, highly recommend at least giving it a go because even if it's a placebo or not, I could not care less whether this is a placebo, right? I don't care. I feel so much better since I started taking this product. I feel so much more confident just in my joints, in my body in general, right? And whether that's placebo or not, I could not give less of a shit because I feel better, you know? So if that's what it's gonna take for you to buy 120 tablets, 120 days, so like four months for about six or seven pound, if you are gonna feel better because you are taking that vitamin, 
take that vitamin. If I had to only pick two out of all of these, if I had to only pick two, I swear by the glucosamine, but I would probably go for a multivitamin and a omega-3 of the top two, um, just as a kind of bare essentials. Not everyone is gonna need glucosamine. I really like the supplement and take it every day, but not everyone is gonna be of the same mindset, and I, I understand that, you know? How's that for a thumbnail? So some people might look at this, all of these, and think, what the hell, do I really need all of this? Like, do I really, really, really need A to Z? Do I need glucosamine, zinc, and uh, am I not gonna make any gains if I don't have any of these, or if I don't have that cupboard there full of clear whey and command and protein and stuff? If I don't have that, am I gonna make no gains? Ladies and gentlemen, fear not, I am here to eliminate that myth. You can still get huge without all of those. So, as you guys can see, we still have no bed. Um, supposedly getting a refund for the other one, uh, so there's a little bit of an update for you. Um, but heard nothing from them, which is, which is nice. Um, just hoping that we haven't been done over in a in a pandemic when people and companies have got no money completely understand but you know we haven't received our bed so we would like our money back please but anyway still on the mattress on the floor for now still got a beautiful flat roof over our heads we're all good it's just annoying when you have to get up you know when you need the toilet in the night if you need to pee it kind of it really wakes you up i know this sounds ridiculous it sounds a bit daft but it wakes you up having to get up out of bed and climb from the floor rather than just rolling out of bed and just kind of slumping to the toilet. I know that sounds ridiculous, it's a stupid thing to be moaning about, but we've lived here for over two months now and we still have no bed. We ordered the bed January 5th or something like that, and here we are. It's April 8th. Still no bed, but anyway. You guys know my situation, right, with, with my protein. I've been working with them for a long time now, my relationship with them has progressed. I'll have more on that for you in the very near future, but I don't want to be the guy that shoves things down your throat that you do not need, right? As long as you guys can understand that you do not need this, you do not need the, the glucosamine, you do not need the omega-3 fish oils, all that kind of stuff to actually make progress. It might make a difference to some people, but not everybody, you know? So do what is within your budget. I don't want to be the person, use this, buy this, you need that. Oh, and by the way, you need 10 bottles of this and you need 12 tubs of that. I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy. You know, it would help me business-wise in terms of helping out with a bit of back pocket change, but I don't want to be that guy, so understand that you don't need it, but there can potentially, of course, be some benefits. I'm not gonna be the one to tell you that you need to take this supplement, but these are my reasons for taking, or some of my reasons, mainly glucosamine. This video is basically about glucosamine. I love the stuff, okay? But I don't wanna be that guy that you watch on social media that gets to do what he genuinely loves every single day. He gets to wake up and make a video. I don't wanna be that guy and then shove stuff that you don't actually need for the sake of me being able to earn a few more pennies. So if you do wind up trying some of these things out, let me know in the comments section down below. DM me and we can have a chat about our kind of vitamin experiences, you know? But do you need them? Definitely not, but can they provide you with some sort of benefit? Absolutely. The decision, unfortunately, has to come from you guys. It can't come from me and I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, as my friend Dr. Greg Doucette would say. I'm not a doctor. However, I do know that certain things, for me, placebo or not, are definitely working, so I'm gonna to continue to take them for myself. But that's that, guys. If you wanna hear a little bit more about my thoughts on vitamins, even though I just rambled for like six minutes at you about them. If you're still watching, I really appreciate it because I am able to make these kinds of videos on a daily basis because of the people like you that make it to the end of the video because that really, really, really helps. But anyway, you can find out more in the LSJ Shredding Plan, which we'll be releasing this week. End. Stay tuned on my Instagram at LSJ underscore fitness for live updates on the plan. It'll be coming this weekend, but to be honest, I've had that much media work. We had the whole Ryan Terry thing the other day. It's just been mental. It's been absolutely mental. And so I've been nonstop every freaking day, 9 a.m. until about midnight at the very least, just going and going and going and going and going. I've just not stopped. But I would not have it any other way. It's a nice problem to have to be too busy than to be not busy at all you know 
So the plan will be coming this weekend, ready for April 12th. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, do me a massive favor. If you feel like you learned something, do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. Where will you be on April 12th? And will you be purchasing the plan come this weekend, ready for the Monday? Thank you guys so much for your relentless support. I appreciate every single one of you. You are the freaking OG legends of this channel. If you're watching right now, 4,000 subs, who knows where we'll be in the year. Thank you so much for all of your support. Together we will grow, and I'll see you in the next one. See what I mean? I just had to like really climb up from the floor. It was just difficult.